in a bold move that signals a renewed commitment to educational development and food security in Ghana, the government has revealed plans to establish a new public university in the heart of the Bono East region. The University of Health, Agriculture, and Life Sciences, to be cited in Kintampo, will be a significant addition to Ghana's higher education landscape, marking a strategic effort to integrate agricultural innovation with life sciences and rural development. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. This announcement made by Education Minister Haruna Idrisu was delivered with passion and purpose during the inauguration of the Governing Council of the SD Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies in WA. Uh, it represents not just an expansion of infrastructure, but a thoughtful visionary step toward national progress. Haruna Idrisu stood before the gathered audience, composed of academic leaders, government officials, and community stakeholders, and delivered a message that reverberated across the country. Ghana is embarking on a journey to reimagine education, not just as a tool for personal advancement, but as a catalyst for national development. His words carried the weight of a promise, one that envisions a future where every region in Ghana is empowered with the resources and institutions necessary to drive localized growth, knowledge, and innovation. In this future, Kintampo will no longer just be a historic transit town or a geographical landmark. It will become a beacon of academic excellence and agricultural transformation. The new university is not merely a facility. It is an instrument of empowerment. Um, its very foundation will be built on the pillars of agricultural science, health, and life sciences, three critical sectors that determine the resilience and sustainability of any modern society. With global conversations increasingly centered around food security, climate resilience, and sustainable living, Ghana's government is positioning the nation to be not just a participant, but a leader in this global movement. Through this initiative, Ghana is sending a clear message. The future of agriculture and life sciences is not being left to chance. It is being carefully cultivated with foresight, policy, and infrastructure. As the minister elaborated, the bill for the establishment of this new university is currently in its final drafting stages and will be laid before Parliament once the legislative body reconvenes. It is a sign of seriousness and urgency. This isn't a vague promise or an electoral gimmick. It is a legislative action in motion, a vision in transition to reality. The aim is clear, to create an institution that will become a hub for research, training, and innovation, serving not just Kintampo or Bono East, but the entirety of Ghana and even beyond its borders. The university is expected to play a vital role in supporting Ghana's national strategy for agricultural development. This includes addressing rural poverty, increasing food productivity, enhancing nutrition, and promoting sustainable environmental practices. Through partnerships with local farmers, businesses, and international organizations, the institution will offer a unique platform for the cross-pollination of ideas and the implementation of science-backed solutions tailored for the Ghanaian context. In a country where agriculture employs a significant portion of the population, such an institution could become a cornerstone of economic and social development. But the vision does not end there. This new university forms part of a broader national agenda to ensure that each of Ghana's 16 regions is home to at least one public university. For years, there has been a persistent disparity in access to tertiary education across the regions. The government's commitment to correcting this imbalance is rooted in the belief that talent exists everywhere, but opportunity does not. By establishing universities in underrepresented regions, Ghana is moving towards a more equitable, inclusive model of development, one where no region is left behind. Education Minister Haruna Idrisu's statement echoed this commitment with conviction. He reminded the nation that this initiative is a continuation of President Mahama's vision, a dream where each Ghanaian region can proudly host a university that reflects the needs, aspirations, and strengths of its people. It is the desire of the government that every region of Ghana will be host to one higher education institution of learning, he said. 
It is the dream and desire of President Mahama that in each region there will be an established university, but we have to begin somewhere, and we have begun somewhat in getting that done. These are not just political words, they are part of a deliberate architecture to decentralize development and bring opportunities closer to the people. For residents of the Bono East region, the establishment of the University of Health, Agriculture, and Life Sciences is not just about bricks and mortar. It is a promise of access, of empowerment, and of a future where local talents can thrive without migrating to far-off urban centers for educational advancement. It is about creating a future where a young boy or girl in Kintampo can dream of becoming a world-class agricultural scientist, a life sciences researcher, or a health expert, and have the tools and institution right at their doorstep to achieve it. Interestingly, the minister's address also touched on a separate but significant development, plans to restore the original names of some public universities that were renamed under the previous administration. While this may seem symbolic, it reveals a deeper commitment to honoring the roots and foundational missions of these institutions. According to the minister, the renaming initiative is not meant to undermine the individuals after whom these universities were renamed, but rather to reinforce the institution's original visions and historical identities. It's not to say that we do not appreciate the sacrifices and contributions of those individuals the institutions were named after, he clarified. If I were to be very political, I would have just said that President Akufoado was busy naming universities he didn't build, but I will not say that. This statement drew both applause and introspection as it brought to light the broader question of how history, legacy, and politics intersect in the evolution of public institutions. The government's decision to restore original university names is part of a wider policy direction that seeks to reaffirm the purpose and mission of these academic institutions, aligning them with their original community-driven objectives rather than transient political sentiments. As Ghana prepares to enter a new legislative cycle, the urgency to table the bill for the University of Health, Agriculture, and Life Sciences reflects the government's desire to fast-track its implementation. The time for talk is over. What lies ahead is action. And Minister Haruna Idrisu gave his assurance that the bill would be laid before Parliament pr promptly upon its return from recess. For the people of Bono East, and indeed all Ghanaians, this signals the dawn of a new chapter, one that holds the promise of academic excellence, agricultural transformation, and regional upliftment. As the narrative of Ghana's development continues to unfold, the establishment of this new university will undoubtedly be remembered as a transformative moment. It represents the convergence of vision, policy, and purpose. It shows that when a government listens, acts, and commits to meaningful investment in education, it sets the stage for generations of empowered citizens. From research labs to rural farms, from lecture halls to innovation centers, the University of Health, Agriculture, and Life Sciences in Kintampo will be more than just a school. It will be a legacy. And as we look forward to this legacy taking shape, one cannot help but feel the winds of change sweeping across the country. It is a change grounded in knowledge, rooted in purpose, and driven by the unshakable belief that the future belongs to nations that invest in their people. Ghana is investing. Ghana is building. Ghana is rising. Um, if today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.